Hey everyone. Thanks, Diana. I appreciate it. All right, as she just said, my name's Luke, and I'm here representing the Portland hub of the Sunrise Movement, as well as Community Water Justice. For those, for those of you who aren't yet familiar with Sunrise, Sunrise is a nationwide youth-led movement that is built around the intersections between climate justice and social justice, with the goal of pushing for the Green New Deal and holding our leaders accountable to the interests of our youth, our environment, and our future. Regardless of the I political identities you all may hold, your knowledge on the climate crisis, or even your level of experience in activism, you are here because you recognize a failure in our government and our society. A failure which we have had the knowledge and ability to fix for over 50 years, but have not. An irresponsible corporate influence on our political system has become a massive barrier to progress, and now it has become a threat to our very survival. I am first and foremost a water activist and live in a frontline community. One of the biggest threats we are facing in Maine is the private ownership of our public water sources. Poland Spring, the bottled water brand owned by Nestle, is extracting unsustainable and unprecedented amounts of water from rural communities while manipulating our government to sustain their profit. Aside from the massive carbon footprint of the bottled water industry, the legalized theft of our water is a threat that has to be dealt with immediately. As water shortages and natural disasters become more common on a global scale, we have to recognize that exploiting our most valuable resources for the sole purpose of increased profits is not the solution. In the State House, there are paid Nestle employees on the Board of Environmental Protection and the Maine Drinking Water Program. Right. That's right. Nestle has also had financial ties to members of the Public Utilities Commission. On top of that, the bottled water industry is deeply tied to the fossil fuel industry. In the U.S. alone, the bottled water industry used 76 million barrels of oil for manufacturing and distribution in a single year. Also, that's right. <laughs> Also, on a global scale, more than 22 billion plastic water bottles entered the waste stream. Most of that plastic ended up in landfills, the oceans, and our waterways. We, can <laughs> we cannot trust powerful corporations like Nestle, who took lessons from the fossil fuel industry, and whose main motivator is profit to act with our best interests at heart. They are both complicit in the destruction of our environment. I have engaged and testified to our elected leaders, yet too often felt completely ignored once the conversation was over. That is a common feeling amongst us. Young people are seizing the reins of the climate and water justice movements because we are left with no other choice. I should not have to be speaking up here to you right now, but I am. Elected leaders, can you hear me now? Yeah. Elected leaders, can you hear us now? Sunrise Movement and Community Water Justice are part of a growing alignment of young people, of all abilities and identities, supported by our elders that will confront the corrupt systems that are destroying our generation's right to a healthy future. And as beautiful as it is to see you all here, I feel equally frustrated. You all are a representation of hope. Hope and vision is the fuel of our movement, but we now know that hope is not enough. For those of you who are able, this alignment needs you to take the energy that exists here back to your communities and affect the changes that we all need. We all need. <laughs> we all need to reassess our priorities if we want to curb this crisis. This might mean a sacrifice from some of you, but that is what is needed. If you currently have investments in the bottled water or fossil fuel industries, we need you to divest. Hey, retirees, 
The, even Maine's pension fund has investments in the oil industry. Will you put pressure on them to divest? We are in the midst of a new dawn, and it's a new day here in the land where the sun first rises. And as we know, if Maine goes, so goes the nation. Thanks.